I have a new Beagle V Faya. Looks just like this. Feels good. Um, we'll do a quick start on it. Um, connect USB to the USB C, and we'll also connect up Ethernet. And here we go. Let's see. Just connected it up. Got a green light on the board. Got some blue lights that are dancing. Looks like we finally settled in on three blue lights. Let's take a look at the um, device manager and find out where this, what COM port is on. Okay. Go down to COM ports, open this guy up, this guy up. And I expected to see it here. Um, oh! Here it comes. A little late, but that's okay. We're on COM port 19. Um, so now let's open up Putty. And let's go to COM port 19. COM 19. Oops, no, actually, serial code, sorry. Oh, there we go. 19. Then let's change to my favorite USB speed of 115, 200. That should, with any luck, open up. And sure enough, it does. There we go. We can log in. Um, it says right here, default to username. And password is Beagle Temp PWD. So let's try it. Beagle. Enter. P -P -P Enter. And let's see. It's thinking. Thinking. Oh, and we're in. Let's do an LS. Nothing interesting yet. Let's do an LS, a dash. A, which shows all files, including hidden files. And there's a few hidden files for you. Um, let's see. Where's our, where's our directory? Where is our home directory? And surprisingly, it's in home Beagle. Makes sense. Let's see if any other accounts exist in the home directory. ls dot dot. Oh, just the Beagle one. Let's see if there's a hidden file up there. I don't know if there will be, but nope, there's not. All right. Um, so we have USB comms working. That's nice. Um, what next? Let's try to get Ethernet working. So we do an IF config. Here we are to, 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 to Ethernet. And it says that the Ethernet address is 172.16.025. So let's open up yet another putty window. Let's see. Here we go. Here we go. And this time we're going to use SSH. And we said it was 172.16.0.25. Uh, the default SSH port is 22. So we'll leave that like it is. And, and say, it's good, right? Yeah, open. Hmm. Oops, and here it is. Look at that. So we should be able to log in again. Using the same username and password, which was uh, Beagle T E N P B W D. Enter. And look at that. Nice. Um, so we have an empty directory. Let's put something into it. Redirect that echo to abc.txt. 
So we do an ls, and it's there. The cat is there. All right, so we've got a nice little terminal running over the seal com port. Um, oh, that actually this one was running over SSH. So we've got the com port working. We've got SSH working. Um, over here it mentioned also web console at 9090. And so this here would be I'm not really sure about this page if that's real or not but let's um we know that the address is um right here uh, 172 16025 and they just want to put it on port 9090 instead of 22. Okay, where this is typically 80. Um, let's see, so let's see what we can do. Let's bring up a web browser. Let's bring this up, open up a new tab right here, and go to I don't remember the page again. Um, 172, let's see, how could we do 68.0.25, colon 9090. That's not there. Um, 172.16, where did I go to? Oh, I went to 68. I might not find it, right? So let's change this to 172.16. Enter. Oh, oh, oh. So now we have a nice little, um, this little gateway here. Center this. And let's open him up full screen. Now let's see if we can log in using our Beagle. And it's like password again. Why well, yeah, I remember? Same password. Let's see. I typed right. That looks good. Enter. Enter. Log in. Oh, isn't this nice? <laughs> this does but let's turn it on let's see if it works um, same password again hey this says we have four cpus uh, we have a one and a half gig of uh, memory it's checking health that's nice A lot of good stuff here. Let's see, accounts. Okay, so we got the Beagle account, which is logged in. Oh, so from right, right from the GUI, we can create a new account. That's kind of nice. Um, services. I don't know what this does. It's taking a long time, though. Hmm. It's, hmm. Applications. I'm kind of bored. Applications, you can look at that. Uh, no applications. That's nice. Uh, what is this? Terminal. Uh, great. Yeah. Oh. So it's a nice little web terminal. Even tab ahead works well. Um, so that shows us a lot of what's going on. So this is a pretty nice interface. I like that you create use like, um, accounts from here. Um, all right, so now we've got what we've we got. We've got USB working, a COM port for the COM ports. We've got SSH working over the Ethernet. We've got web page working. So I think we've had a pretty successful day. Let's shut this guy down. Um, one more thing I'd like to try. Make this bigger here. Let's just see here. We do a GCC. Oh my God! It found it found, it found GCC. So um, let's try this. 
FBI, um, hello.c. By hallowed clue of std ionh and what are they to mean squiggle um right to that there we go back it up um squiggle okay escape how do we do here so text checkers, anybody? All right. Um, GCC, hello. Um, um, oh, that's what for parentheses out. Oops. All right, let's try it again. Dude, look at that. So we can create our own programs on this, store them there, and we can start talking to the FPGA, uh, start talking to, we can start getting something actually usable. All right, this is great news. All right, that's all I've got.